Is Charlie Chris pulling away from Rick Scott in the governor's race? A new Quinnipiac University poll seems to suggest that. Chris has 43% in this survey of likely voters to 40% for Scott and 8% for Libertarian Adrian Wiley. That's pretty much a dead heat, but Chris has an 18% lead among independent voters. West Chief Political Reporter Greg Fox is here with us now. And Greg, that's significant for us here in Central Florida. It's a big factor to have a double digit lead among voters who are not affiliated with political parties, and we have plenty of them along the I 4 corridor. But keep in mind, Republicans have still been turning out more voters in early voting and absentee voting, so this race remains too close to call. Well, so far, so good. We're turning out. Yeah. I mean, really turning out. Charlie Chris focused on a collection of senior centers to zero in on voters who traditionally cast ballots but may not remember much about when he was governor. He didn't say much about his slim lead in the new Quinnipiac poll, but he pushed them to vote and get their friends and family to vote. It's one of the most important duties we have as Americans is our right to vote. And ordinarily, you know, the, what do they call this, a midterm election, off-year election? Well, I think 2014 is on. It's an on year election for Florida. It is, because of you and what you're doing. Four more years! Four more years! Republican Rick Scott continued his campaign in Orlando, taking only minor shots at Christ, perhaps a sign that both candidates understand the negative tone of this race. Our new poll shows the unfavorable ratings at 45% for Christ and 46% for Scott, pretty much unchanged from a week ago. It also shows Libertarian Adrian Wiley is proving to be a major factor. Asked who they would vote for if Wiley was out of the race, the second choice vote has Christ getting 45% to Scott's 42%, with 13% undecided. Scott doesn't think much of the polls. On polls, you ought to go talk to Charlie. He'll, he'll probably change his position today if you go ask him. If you show him a poll that says he should change a position, he'll do it in a heartbeat. A turnout of 40 to 50 percent is being predicted in Florida. The candidates are uh, taking no chances, hitting town after town with campaign stops through Election Day, including a visit to Orlando by former President Clinton with Charlie Crist Monday night.